Hello guys, welcome to this session on environmental science. Previously, we saw some important concepts related to an ecosystem like what is an ecosystem and what are its different types. If you recollect, in the previous example, we said that living and non-living things are interdependent. Yes, these living and non-living things are the basic components of the ecosystem. Living things are also known as biotic components. The term bios means life. Non-living things are known as abiotic components. Here abiotic means no life. Plants, animals, birds, microorganisms are part of the biotic components. But if I ask you who amongst them can prepare their own food? Yes, plants. What about others? They acquire food from either plants or other living organisms, right? So we can classify these biotic components further into two types. The ones which produce their own food are called producers or autotrophs. All other organisms that depend on the other organisms for their food are called consumers or heterotrophs. Depending on the feeding behavior, the consumer or heterotrophs can be further classified into three types. Let's now see what they are. Organisms that feed on plants like deer, rabbit, goats are called primary consumers or herbivores. Now the ones that feed on these herbivores or primary consumers are called secondary consumers or primary carnivores. Can you name any? Foxes, rats, etc. These are some examples of secondary consumers. The animals that feed on these secondary consumers that is animals like lion, tigers are called territory consumers or secondary carnivores. Now you might be wondering where do these microorganisms fall? They fall under a special category of consumers. Have you seen dead decaying matter? Who actually carries out the decomposition? Yes, they are these microorganisms and are called decomposers or detritivores. Talking about the abiotic components, they include all non-living things. These factors include rain, wind, soil, minerals, etc. So here we studied the structure and composition of the ecosystem. In the next session, we'll study more about the ecosystem. Till then, stay tuned with Let's Do It and watch our amazing videos of different categories, academic and non-academic from our different channels. Please do visit our channel and explore the content. See you in the next session. Till then, subscribe to our channel and keep watching, keep learning. Thank you.